The UK's financial watchdog is warning that millions more people are struggling to pay their bills compared to two years ago. The Financial Conduct Authority surveyed 19,000 households at the start of this year before the latest increase in fuel and energy prices found that nearly 8 million people are finding their bills a heavy burden. That's up from just over 5 million in 2020. Well, let's see then what's dominating the front pages this morning. And, of course, as you may have guessed, leading with Liz Truss's resignation, the eye has the headline gone in 44 days. The Guardian describes today's events as the bitter end. While the Metro goes with big and bold, calling Miss Truss the worst PM we've ever had. The Mirror has one simple demand, general election now. The Financial Times points out that the government's economic recovery plan is still in flux. And the Sun looks at the possibility of Boris Johnson making a comeback to number 10. While the Telegraph has Mr Johnson touting his credentials as well. And the Times also leads with rumours of a possible Johnson return. The Express dares to dream, asking, he couldn't, could he? And the Mail says a contest between Mr Johnson and his former Chancellor Rishi Sunak as a fight for the soul of the Tories. And the star's mockery of Liz Trust comes to a head as they proclaim, let us rejoice. So the letters, in fact, as you'd know, did win. And if you want to see any of those front pages again or read the stories, just scan that QR code. The battle to become the next Prime Minister dominates the front pages this morning, unsurprisingly. So, start with the mail. Boris versus Rishi. That's the headline. No formal declarations have been made, but Boris Johnson and Rishi Sunak were leading the race last night. This according to that newspaper. The Daily Telegraph says that Boris Johnson is privately encouraging MPs to support him returning to Downing Street and has pledged that only he can win the Conservatives the next general election. A very clear message from the Daily Mirror, its headline, simple, general election now. And the Daily Star, let us rejoice, which has spent the last week or so monitoring, rather interestingly, whether um, a lettuce would outlast the premiership of Liz Truss. Uh, it did, by the way.